Hey guys, it's Amy here and today I'm going to be recommending some books relating to mental health to you. I've been thinking for a while that I wanted to start a series of videos where I recommend different genres of books to you and the first one I have picked out is mental health. So today I have four books that I want to talk to you about and all of them are in some way related to mental health. Let's get on to it. And the first book I'm going to talk about is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. I read this book a very very long time ago and recently I've been wanting to pick it up again so I think I will reread it sometime this year. This book is a very unique murder mystery novel. It follows a young boy called Christopher who has Asperger's syndrome. Christopher is a very intelligent boy, he is very very good at math but due to his Asperger's syndrome he really struggles to read people's body language and facial expressions which makes it very difficult for him to interact with other people. As you may have guessed from the front of the book there is a murder and the murder is of a dog that lives in a neighbouring house to Christopher. He then spends the novel trying to find out who has murdered this dog. I would recommend this book to you if you haven't read it because when I first read it, I must have been about 12 or 13, I specifically remember it being a book that really made me think differently about the world. Learning about people with Asperger's syndrome and reading through the narrative of a boy who suffers from it was really an eye-opener for me. It made me really consider how there are people out there who don't find it easy to read social situations or interact with other people and how most people take it for granted that they can walk into a room and read what people are like and know what to do in that situation whereas this boy didn't and it was really an eye-opener. If you don't know much about Asperger's syndrome or if you like the look of this novel I really suggest you pick it up. Next I have The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. This follows the story of a man named Pat who is trying to get his life back on track after him and his wife have had a bit of a breakup. You learn that Pat has been in a psychiatric hospital for quite a while but he believes he's only been in there for a very short amount of time so when he eventually comes out he thinks he's been in there for a few months when really he's been in there for a couple of years. This leads to a lot of problems and Pat doesn't understand why he can't go back to his life and why he can't see his wife. As the book progresses you learn various things to do with why him and his wife have broken up and why he ended up in a psychiatric hospital to begin with. Throughout this novel you follow Pat as he struggles with his mental health and really tries to get everything back on track once he has got out of this psychiatric hospital. I'd really recommend this to you if you have any interest in reading through a perspective of an older guy, mid 30s, not particularly old, but I had never read through a perspective through a guy that age before and I found it really eye-opening. So next I have The Perks of Being a Wolf Flower by Stephen Shabotsky. I read this book a couple of years ago and really enjoyed it. This follows the story of Charlie who is in high school and he is struggling with interacting with people and friends and family and just everything. Charlie is a bit of a wallflower. He likes watching the world go by and analysing things and seeing things from a distance but not necessarily involving himself too much in those situations. In this book Charlie integrates into a new group of friends and slowly starts to do things that maybe he wouldn't have done before and that's quite a nice thing to see. If you haven't read this book you may be asking why does this relate to mental health though? Throughout the novel Charlie has various moments when things do seem to go quite wrong for him. As Charlie has more experience with these new group of friends, more repressed memories from his childhood seem to come out. You follow him as he battles with these memories and wonders what is true and why he is only remembering these things now. For such a short book it is a very hard-hitting story and come the end I was very very emotionally battered. I also watched the film and thought it was absolutely fantastic. It features Emma Watson as one of his friends. If you want a short book that hits quite hard I really would suggest this one. And finally I want to talk about The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. I read this earlier this year and really really enjoyed it. This follows a guy named Matt and at the beginning of the story you learn that when he was younger he had a brother and this brother tragically died. Since then Matt has blamed himself for the death of his brother but as a reader you don't find out until a good way through the book what actually happened with his brother when they were younger so you don't know if actually he is blaming himself because it was his fault or whether it was just an accident. So his brother is dead and then we follow him as he grows up and as he slowly descends into schizophrenia. I did psychology in A-levels and found schizophrenia to be a really interesting subject. The book was absolutely fantastic and Nathan Filer clearly did a lot of research into the subject before writing the book. I found myself really connecting to the main character and really wanting his story to end out well. I'd really recommend this book to you. If you've read any of the books that I've mentioned today, this one is definitely one you should pick up. Heart-wrenching and a really fast-paced storyline that I just didn't want to put down the book. Really, really great. Another book I'll quickly mention is It's Kind of a Funny Story by Nev Fazzini. If you want to 
to hear about that one, I reviewed it in my February wrap-up video. It's a really great story about a guy suffering with depression. I also have two other books that I want to mention, but I can't really go into the storyline too much because otherwise it would spoil the kind of surprise and twists in the story for you. So I will mention them to you, and if you want to go and read them, then you will eventually know why they relate to mental health. The first one is Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk, and the second one is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. That's all I'm gonna say about them. <laughs> So I think that's everything for today guys, I hope you enjoy this video, if you have any recommendations for other genres of books that you'd like to hear me recommend then let me know down below. As always I will leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything down below if you wish to go and befriend me on Goodreads that would be awesome. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you soon, bye! And this other guy have been speaking for a while online but they actually keep their identities secret from one another.